Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Davo from Arcon Esports bringing you a 1v1 StarCraft 2 cast today. Awesome this time. This time, ladies and gentlemen. But of course, it's mostly probably just gentlemen. <laughs> we have in the top left hand corner our red Protoss Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Excellent. And in the bottom right hand corner, we have our blue Protoss, who is ZT Peace. But I will just call him Peace. Um, as I presume that Zutapis is uh, some sort of clan tag or something like that. These guys are high gold level players. Excellent. And this map is Ohana LE. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good freaking times. Okay. So let's get into this game. But first of all, let's look at the delightful scenery of Ohana LE. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at those little plateaus and the nice cliff. And oh, who could forget the beach where you could go and sip a nice cocktail or something like that. As long as it's not anything nasty making you a cocktail. Like an infested terror and you don't know where they've been. <laughs> and of course, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a PvP today. Excellent. So if we bring up the production tab right now, we can see that Akatsuki has actually uh, started his gateway slightly quicker than ZT Peace or just Peace um, and also the gas geyser goes down straight away which is a move that is you know very very common <laughs> in Protoss play it's usually gateway gas pylon cybernetics core gas something like that and you can wreck people with that kind of very simple basic opener and that's why pretty much every Protoss player does it Excellent. Unless they go for some something really, really funky, like a cannon rush or, you know, proxy gateways or something like that. Okay, and actually really good play right there from Akatsuki, uh, putting down the cybernetics core as soon as it's finished, that pylon finishing right there, making sure he's not supply block. We could do with making another probe, which he just got on, as I was halfway through saying that. Excellent, and nice zealot on the way as well from Akatsuki, just to make sure that he is safe. Yeah, safeness is the best. CT piece has... Got a pylon way over here, which isn't actually a bad choice. Quite a lot of um, really, really high-end pro players do like to put their pylons right at the edges of their base. Uh, mainly because if there's an attack at the front, it means you can warp in zealots or whatever you like here and kind of do a nice flanking maneuver. Um, and that's always nice. And it's also good for counterattacks. If the enemy is in your natural, you can just warp in some zealots right here and peg it up to the other end of the map. But of course, if you are sneaky enough, you can put a pile on pretty much anywhere and do exactly the same thing from a closer range. Speaking of being sneaky enough, Akatsuki has actually got a probe in Peace's uh, third base area. And it does look like maybe it's going to plop down a pile on one day soon. Uh, that is something that I will definitely expect to happen fairly soon. Now I'm going to guess the sentry's going to... Yeah, there we go. The sentry is just sat on top of the ramp, and that's possibly the best place for it to be at the moment, because sentries are a marvellous tool to deflect uh, attacks, especially in the early game. Um, and yeah, really, I, I can't really see anything wrong with that. Oh, but that was a cancel right there. I'm not actually sure what got cancelled. Um, and we have a robo facility and a gateway on the way from peace as well and of course if you just if you just ma keep on macroing and pumping out everything out of um these gateways and indeed the uh, facilities that are actually coming at the time then you'll have a really nice well balanced economy as well as if you just make pylons and probes as well you can add on third gateway too get into a three gate robo kind of mode and that is absolutely hunky dory i personally like to add my third robo on after my robotics is finished as well because your economy is a little bit more stable and you know if, you, if your opponent does hit you with a four gate you can get you can get that immortal out nice and early really i mean you, you could start getting that immortal out right now and immortals are very very good against stalkers but again that is from just me humble old little old me um and let me remind you, I'm not the best of players, to be honest. But both Protoss going for a three-gate robo kind of thing, and that is, it's a pretty common sort of build uh, for PvP. I mean, PvP is really divided, as far as I can say, into this at, at this level, into three kind of 
sub-genres, if you like. Um, you've got people who 4-gate, people who 3-gate Robo, people who 2-gate Robo, and last but not least, the people who try and rush to Colossus. Uh, because, really, at this level of PvP, it can actually just boil down to who gets the most Colossus quickly. Unfortunately, we do have a really nice amount of sentries right here for ZT Peace, and he does actually look like he's going to be able to hold any attack that is incoming, but there is no attack incoming, because Akatsuki has actually just expanded, um, so he is going to be just sitting here making sure that nothing goes wrong. Meanwhile, this observer is actually going to see the whole lot. He's going to see that Akatsuki is actually expanding straight away. Like that. Well, not straight away, but in a timely fashion oh yes and there is also an immortal coming out onto the field right now another sentry uh, for akatsuki there meanwhile we have more observers from akatsuki uh, i.e out of the two that are on the map the one that is akatsuki's heading into peace's base and having a look around peace also doing some nice scouting actually you don't um, often see lower league level players going around the place looking for proxy pylons. That's pretty clever. Um, quite a lot of the time, sometimes you know you might they might go for an attack and go up here and start blasting away at the ramp. And there's a pylon here, and then your opponent warps in zealots and tears your mineral line apart, and you've got no macro or economy to fall back on, and that can be absolutely terrible. I mean, in the way of shooting units and DPS units, I think Akatsuki's army is winning at the moment but there are quite a lot of immortals on the field from zt peace and if he does get some really nice tasty force fields off then it could be a very very worthwhile push this indeed and it's worth being um aggressive as a protoss in a pvp scenario because you really really want to make sure that your opponent is isn't getting a isn't getting like the same or more of more units than you do essentially um because obviously all of the units are the same um so and it's a, another good idea to look out for your upgrades as well but what we do have coming out right now from zt pieces is a warp prism so it does actually look like maybe he's going to load those zealots into the warp prism and go do a drop simultaneously to an attack around the front and that could be pretty hot and spicy especially if you're akatsuki i would not like to deal with that at all um and it doesn't actually look like this warp prism will get found out either so it looks like the Observer, because at one point there it looked like the Observer may be going to intercept the Warp Prism uh, completely by luck. Or skill, some might say. Um, but it doesn't look like that has happened today. And here we go, we do have CTPs attacking the back rocks right now. Um, Akatsuki can actually see the back rocks going down, so he knows exactly what's going on. He's going for a flanking attack. Ooh, both armies. Ooh, nice force fields there by ZTPs um, and here we go are we gonna see a big attack right now ZTPs army not in the greatest of positions right there he wanted to really bring his whole army up there straight away but At Akatsuki's army uh, in this little area right here is kind of difficult because the range units from peace couldn't actually attack over these trees or anything like that so it could have been a pretty difficult situation because you don't want the zealots running ahead of the ranged units like that because that could really really mess you up quite frankly and here we go here is the big engagement oh nice force fields going down there from who i can presume is only akazuki now we do have zealots on those immortals and it does like the Immortal will get taken down by the Zealot pretty quickly, and I actually think that maybe Akatsuki has got away with his expand um, in a nice and timely fashion. Peace maybe not attacking as quick as he could have, but Akatsuki, well, kind of foolishly losing a Immortal there um, accidentally, perhaps. Nice force field play from both players right now, especially Akatsuki trapping the majority of Peace's army. Um, on the ramp and some force fields right here could have gone really really well to stop the zealots from getting to the immortals like that because obviously zealots just eat immortals alive in fact zealots eat pretty much anything alive even though they don't have mouths and it does actually look like this immortal might actually go down um seeing as stalkers are faster than immortals oh hello this immortal here has cottoned on to the fact that there is a uh, proxy pylon right here and is actually going to take care of it right now. Meanwhile, these immortals are actually running away. These guys are pissed off because these two immortals have been responsible for some of the deaths in the uh, 
in the blue team family right now. Morzalek's getting warped into ZT Pieces' base. Uh, he could go really, really well to expand right now. I mean, he does actually have quite a lot of minerals. He's got 1,000 of each resource, so it could, it could work out for him if he was to expand right now. Maybe even... Ooh, wow, there's another load of zealots right here from Akatsuki. Gonna pretty much go running into ZT Pieces' base. And this is exactly what I was saying earlier about proxy pylons and how careful you have to be. Um, because, I mean, Pieces' army is just running up the map after Akatsuki's... Um, base and army and here we go here are some red zealots entering the blue base right now and this could be absolutely tragic for the economy of ztps he sees it pretty damn quickly and the probes move away too which is a pretty good move seeing as you know it just makes the zealots stew and run after them but all the time this is happening ZP ztps is losing mining time and it'll be really really interesting to see where these probes are going because it does actually look like an be linking up with the army and is ZTP just going to try and do one colossal all in that is what I want to know because it definitely looks that way at the moment because these probes are just heading straight up the map right now uh, there we are excellent wow so yeah you have to wonder where these probes are going and yes that's right they are going for one big all in but I've I'm fairly sure Akazuki might actually be able to hold hold this i mean it really really depends how effective these probes can be in aiding the army these zealots back here are not actually doing anything to help at the moment but it doesn't like it's been selected and they will actually start helping right now but this could actually overwhelm the uh, akazuki's army but i just don't i'm not sure it will be enough and we could end up with a base race going on right here there are more zealots from akazuki around the back taking out these stalkers um, as well, so it does look like Akatsuki might actually be able to defend this pretty effectively. I mean, the last thing you want as um, as peace is to get the enemy zealots engaging your probes, and that's a lot. That is a lot of uh, zealots there engaging those various red protoss units. The immortal goes down pretty damn quickly, and it looks like this base race may have actually may have actually um, worked out here for peace. It is beginning to look that way. All of those uh, minerals that he could have used to expand have just gone on this one colossal push. And it does actually look like it's actually working out for him pretty well. Akazuki trying to micro his stalkers as best as he can to get away from the rampaging zealots. But more red zealots coming in here. He needs to move that more back. Because you can bet the bottom dollar that Akazuki has actually... Um, has actually target fired onto that immortal and it does actually look like Akatsuki might actually be in trouble right now he could really use some sentries here just to block the ramp uh, in the future push because I mean peace is a little bit a little bit screwed right now uh, I mean he's just run out of money really um, both sides could actually oh where are these going are they going Oh, and here we go. We have like a counter all in. But they go into a wall of zealots. And probes do eat, zealots do eat probes for absolute breakfast. And it does look like peace may actually be successful in this game. And that was an all in with all of Akatsuki's probes. And oh, nice force field going on there. But it doesn't quite cover all of the ramp. I'm not actually sure if these units can get up here. I don't think they can. But it still looks like Akatsuki is still going to take this game. And very nice valiant effort for him nice all in right there uh, a little bit of simple micro here should fix uh, these zealots that are running around after the stalkers and the mortals but the immortal definitely needs to be microed away and it is in a very nice timely fashion and there we are that is surely all she wrote and there we go Akatsuki leaves the game without a GG oh that was a pretty much a roller coaster of a game awesome that's what I like covering goldly games because they can be very unpredictable and it's pretty fun. It's good stuff. All right, guys. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Huh. Yeah. I, I, I didn't mean to replace that U with an A and say gays. I genuinely didn't. I'm very sorry. All right, guys. That is that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, and there will be another uh, lower level cast coming very, very shortly, as today is Friday, and Friday is the day that I do that on. Alright guys, well thanks a lot for watching, that's like the fourth time I've said it, see you next time, cheers.